is going on? This is Altone, and this is the DJI RCN1 controller. Now this is an absolutely great and easy to use controller, and you can pair multiple DJI drones with this same controller at the same time, which means if you go out to the field and you wanna take two of the drones that will pair with this DJI RCN1 controller, you can actually take them both out and fly them without having to go through the pairing process over and over again. Now the models that the DJI RCN1 will pair with are the DJI Mini 2, the DJI Mavic Air 2, the DJI Air 2S, and the DJI Mavic 3. So the DJI RCN1 is actually using OcuSync 2.0. So now let's take a look at the layout of the controller itself. So the first thing that you see on the face of the controller is the DJI logo. <laughs> what else would you expect? Just below that, you have the mode selector switch, which has three selections, a cine or tripod mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode. And just below that, you have your battery and connection lights. So on the top right, you have the camera function selector switch on the top Left, you have the function button and of course the power button. So to the left of the mode button, you have the pause and return to home button. And quickly to the bottom, not much there, <laughs> you have your left and right control stick storage. And in the middle, you have a USB-C port, which you can use in order to charge up your controller. On the very top is the phone holder and the phone holder also doubles as the antenna and when you lift up your antenna or cell phone holder you'll have stored underneath that your cable my dji rcn1 actually came with my mini 2 and in the box along with it came multiple cables i've upgraded my cable connection to to a longer one so if i wanted to use different attachments on my phone or on my tablet and use them for the purpose of flying my drone I had that extra length in cable in order to do so. And on the top right, right by where your index finger will possibly rest is your shutter button. And on the top left, you have your gimbal control wheel. When you receive your drone or just a single DJI in one controller, your controls are already set up to what is called mode two. In mode two, pressing forward or back on your control stick will adjust your drone's elevation up and down and pushing your left control stick left or right will control what is called yaw or the rotation of the drone to the left and to the right. On your right stick in mode two, pressing forward or backwards on the control stick will cause your drone to move forward or in reverse in the direction the drone is facing. And pressing right or left on the right control stick will move your drone to the left or right based on the direction that the drone is facing. Now going into your settings, you can change those controls. But I suggest, as always, when you first get your drone and you begin to fly as a beginner, that you leave all of your settings the way they are out of the box. Get used to the way your drone operates and flies before you start making adjustments to the sensitivity or the function of any of the controls on your DJI N1 controller. So I truly hope this helped you out in some way. If it did, I'd absolutely love to hear from you down in the comment section. Let me know what your questions are. I do plan on doing a video in the future, actually taking it out, flying the drone and, and actually demonstrating some of those controls and some of what you can expect as you begin to fly your drone for the first time. Thanks again so much for stopping by. I look forward to talking to you down in the comment section and seeing you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you again very soon.